bought it from the original owner in 1988, and she got it as a 16th birthday present from her dad, who worked for Ford in Milpitas, California. Now, I've been looking for Mustangs for quite a few years. I almost bought one when I graduated from college, but I said, ah, they're small, look what happened to the Edsel. And so I, after that, I, I really changed my mind. Most of the, the repairs uh, I've done, but I tried to keep it original. It has the, the original uh, upholstery, convertible top boot, dash pad, radio, all of that's new. It had a, it had a minor restoration in 84, she did it, uh, paint, some chrome, a uh, few, few things like that, but uh, I've tried to keep it as, as original as, as possible. It's the Decode 289, four barrel. There were only, only two V8s available in 64 and a half. Uh, the, con the color code is M Wimberley White, and the convertible, I think, is, uh, is eight, no, it's five F. O D A I think it's F and then the, the serial number after that. I drive it uh, every week. I try not to let it out of my sight. <laughs> but it's it you'd say it's a daily driver, but I don't I don't use it as, as that. When I got it it had uh, thirty seven thousand original miles. At first I thought it was hundred and thirty seven, but then I looked at the service records and it was 37 original and I had the engine rebuilt in uh, 80, 90, 92 and it now has 75,000 miles on it so uh, only a few thousand a year. It's, it's not a, a fancy new car but uh, it's, it's quiet. I uh, didn't uh, put any uh, loud mufflers or anything on it. Uh, suspension is good and uh, it's, it, it's enjoyable it's just it's real hot here in Vegas and and I, I don't take it out when it's over a hundred <laughs> which is the last two weeks <laughs> everywhere I go it, it, it seems to get noticed and most people say you know nice Mustang and, and you know, I say thank you of course and it's it's fun, and you try you try not to be self-conscious when you drive, because especially with the top down, uh, everybody notices. It. And uh, you may have noticed uh, it's the same color and the same interior as they had in the movie Goldfinger, 1964, and they had to work like heck to get it to the, over to Europe for the production. So it's, it's one of the very few. I'm just going to keep it as it is. Uh, I'm not sure when or if I'll sell it. Um, it seems to just survive nicely with just normal maintenance. And it's in a garage. It was always in a garage. Never been out outside at night. It's never been out of California. So I'll just hang on to it and you know, who knows.